Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Building with B-O-O, episode 300. What? 300 episodes, you guys. Is this unbelievable or what? Can you believe it? We've made it. 300 episodes in this series, which is mind-blowing. 300 episodes in this world is mind-blowing. How much we've accomplished is just ridiculous out here. But we did it. We're having a good time doing it, aren't we? Those of you that are expecting like something very, very special, um, sorry. <laughs> Serious, I, I mean, I, I, more than anything, this is not about me. So I don't want to make like a special, oh, oh, look at what I've done. Look at how great I am at doing this. More than anything, it's about you guys uh, continuing to support the series like crazy. And uh, the best thing I can do is just give you the best that I got uh, with each episode. So again, that's what I'm going to try to do today. But you guys, thank you seriously for your support along this series and keeping Building with BWO running strong for this long. Unbelievable. Uh, but we've got some things to talk about today, all right? And we're going to do something totally different. But I've been doing some work in here on this world, and I, I need to uh, address it. Some big changes from last time. You can see this is not a modern city. This is just wool laid out in a fashion and uh, ironically, I'm cutting down a jungle tree right now because uh, of a couple great suggestions that I got on Twitter. And that's why I love you guys so much. You guys help out so much with this series. And together, it truly is a let's play. Together, we end up coming up with some pretty cool stuff, I think. Um... You know, I try to do what I can, and I try to help inspire ideas while and when I can. But, a lot of times, you guys end up helping me. Which uh, is just really fun and unique to me. But, um, anyway, I'm cutting down jungle trees, and I'm farming them just a little bit out here. Because, I got a suggestion on Twitter from somebody that said, Dude, go with a jungle roof. Jungle wood roof. And I'll tell you what, it really does match the look that I'm going for a lot more. It's less saturated. That orange of that acacia wood is just too heavily saturated for the look that we're going for. And I think this does the job. Now, some of you may disagree. But if you look at photos for an area of this type, this is where it's at. That is jungle. Might not feel like it, but it is. Um, and overall, once we're finished, it'll look very, very nice. And I may pop in just for some difference. I may pop in an acacia uh, tree, acacia wood roof from time to time. But also, uh, I got another suggestion for how to do this roof and how to get, remember how we ended the last episode where we kind of went into our test world and we kind of tested out some... Uh, options as far as this roof is concerned and this is the one right here I think and what it is it's a, it's a stair on the bottom and then half slabs from there stair on the bottom half slabs from there and it does kind of round it a little bit but not so much that I gotta worry about it too bad you know I think it still looks really really nice now, but as you can see I've down a lot of stuff there was a building right here all the way up and I took that down because I didn't like how it was looking we had a building right here that was this tall and that building right there is just one block shy of that so the whole elevation change to add interest thing was all happening like behind the scenes with this building down lower and so it what I wasn't getting the feel or the effect now I decided to go through and back in the day, I got a tour of uh, one of the Hypixel lobbies getting built. And in the early stages of it getting built. And what they do is this. They go through 
And and they use different colors of wool, but I had so much white wool. I thought that'd be the best route to go. Um, and they go through and they block everything out. And then little pieces, of, like I've added this here to say, I want to remember that I'd like a little terrace right here or a balcony or something. Um, little things to kind of let me know. Or like up here, I want to do one of these style roofs right there on that back building. But I just went through... And uh, I laid it out all in wool, stepped back, and this is much easier and much less of a commitment. Holy cow at the commitment we made by going through and putting all this detail into these buildings and then me having to go in and say, nope, not going to work. I'm going to drop. Ooh, I didn't drop. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I ended up with, and I like it much more. Let's take a look, shall we? So if you go into the city... This main street here, right? You go straight down, and this will be kind of like a capital building. This is all one big, large building, and then it'll have... I got rid of the walkway coming across here. Thought it was a nice feature, but first of all, it blocks this view if you're coming this way. Uh, second of all, it would potentially block the view of anything coming through this way. So we'll have some uh, bridges coming across here. And a bridge going across there. And uh, I think enclosed bridges, not just wide open bridges. Uh, we might have like a open walkway thing coming across from here to here. Now we've got this mine here. And I'm thinking of making like a little bit of a, a mining building possibly. Or a blacksmith type of building. A little something here. Different heights on the two of these is going to be important. Um... But yeah, that's how I've got that laid out. So I've got, and then little little things, like I didn't have these connected because I want to have an alley here, an alleyway here, and, a, and an alleyway here. Potential to put like little dumpsters and side things on the side could be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this back building, this is going to be like a main uh, city hall type building for the city or something, a little courthouse. So it'll have this type of roof on it, which will keep it, Interesting, I think. And then as you wrap around a side over here, uh, we've just got some stuff here. Never really worked out anything on this side because I was running low on wool. But yeah, that's about uh, what I did with that. Not really going to start filling that in yet because I think we did enough of that last episode and I think it's time to move on to something new. Ooh, it gets framey at nighttime in these Eddie's shaders. Um, so anyway, what are we going to do today? Now that we've just figured out that area <laughs> and, uh, not completed it, but we figured out how we're going to make it work. It's, it's a nice view from over here, isn't it? Pretty, pretty, pretty nice view. Um, now that we figured that out, we're going to leave it and we're going to come on over here and we're going to do the amphitheater. Oh, baby, 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 look at this. This place, as you guys know, and as you mentioned, begging, absolutely begging for an amphitheater on it. Whoops, sorry, wrong button, sorry. It's begging for it, and we're going to give it to it. Um, the thing is, now, I need to kind of do some research. The, here's the simple thing, right? What you do normally is you just go in and you'd be like, all right, amphitheater, circle, done. But that's not what we're doing. No siree. We're going to do do it next level, B-dub style. We're going to go as far out as we possibly can with this thing. Make it a little different than what you would expect. Unfortunately, I've got that nether portal there. Um, but... That can always be moved. Uh, you know, we could look at it as like, oh, this is how people from other areas come in and visit the amphitheater and come see shows. Uh, but I tell you, that looks crazy. But I can talk to you a little bit about my first initial idea before we really get going, okay? Before I really dig in and start doing some building. Circular. Okay, 
circular, but not a full circle. I think we're going to go kind of a three quarters, two thirds circle right here. And then this wall here will be like a stage, a built up stage. And that's where my mind kind of shuts off, <laughs> where my I run out of ideas. I'm thinking a roof type like that, columns on it. Tall, big, massive, about this size. But you know we're going to have to do it uh, probably in wool first. Thank you for regrowing. He knows. He knows what's coming. So anyway, random cut there, sorry. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of the game plan. We're going we're gonna to get this started today. Finished? Me? I don't know. Maybe. But we'll at least get it started. But is this area just growing on you? It's really growing on me. And it's growing in general. Thank you so much for continuing to grow wool. And providing for me. You're a very kind sheep. These are all very kind sheep. Eating all the time. They're just non-stop production. And it's because I set them free. They love it. But anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get working on this. Okay? Okay. Time for B-dubs to do some serious research, start looking up images, and get to building. All right. I've made some progress. Are you ready to see it? You're looking at it, actually. Not bad, I think, but I haven't done the whole stand back and take a peek yet. So I'll be very interested to see what we have. And there's going to be, you know, in Jurassic Park, how they make up the dinosaur... And there had to be, like, some fill-in, like, the DNA had some holes, and they had to fill in the holes with, like, frog DNA or whatnot. We'll have some holes to fill in here. Some frog DNA, if you will, uh, to fill in. But, hmm, not so bad. Uh, there were th some things, there were some things that I was trying to do. That uh, I just kind of went with it and didn't really think it out. So like where I stopped with this, I wasn't really thinking that out. But I think I'll make some changes there. But I think this looks pretty freaking cool so far. Nice circle, good size. Like when you come out here, this is going to be good for you. You're going to like to see this when you when you come around this corner. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel like you are entering into a semi-epic area. And this will all be leveled out, of course. But yeah, when you come around here. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful view. Uh, but what I'm talking about, there's little holes here. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll just have to decide how to fill those in. But there's also some differentiation that I want to do at the same time. Uh, I wanted to get this layout in here first before anything... But after that, I want to put stairs in. So I want to carve out in certain spots, like down, I think this might be an exact corner here. I'd really like to carve out a spot, whoops, uh, for a stairway and make it a wooden stairway. You know, that looks like that is the exact corner there. And then maybe one down the center. I feel down. One down the center where this wool is. And then let's find this other area. This other exact corner. It looks like right here. Hmm? Yes. This is it. Um, oops. I did that exact same thing on a both spots. I wonder what, what caused me to do that. That's weird. Yeah. So that'll be stairways leading down. This will be kind of an open area down here, flattened out. And then this will be kind of a grand stage. A very grand stage, I say. Um, but I think that looks pretty cool, don't you? I like the way that looks. Death fog enters the area. I eat a snack. Um... But yeah, so, pretty cool. I think it's coming along. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll have to put some wooden stairways in there. And basically, the way I'm going to do that, let's actually grab a little bit of the spruce. 
and put we can maybe work one out together, shall we? Don't take that the wrong way. Um, da -da 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 -da. Spruce, I think, will be good. I think that'll be the good, the right wood for us. Because um, I, I've always, I always kind of default to spruce anyway. I think it'll be nice. But let's real quick together work out what this could potentially, potentially be. Uh, we can't just go an angle right here. We can't just do this because it's going to look funny. Um, we've got to kind of spread it out just a little bit more. So if we were to be one lower, this level, if we were to come down here, it would be here. Boom. Mm -hmm. And then... Boom. No, 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 no. No, 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 Peter. Like a so. Very good. This is going to be kind of a difficult thing to work out, but we can get it together as a team, baby. Huh. I actually think I have to make a decision. I think it's going to... No, that's going to be level with that. I don't want that to be level. So for it to be level, it's going to have to be a stairway like... Or for it to not be level, it'll have to be a stairway like that. Right? Am I right? Oh, this is going to be interesting indeed. Isn't it? This is going to be a, a difficult... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it not doing what I so desire it to do? Not there. Let's just go with this current pattern that we have going. Uh, and let's just see what happens with it. Um, oops, wrong way, wrong place. Ooh. I've realized that some of you are like brilliant engineers. Like you can see uh, potential problems like this. And your brain instantly knows exactly how to figure it out. I, I, I truly do feel, this is so low, we're so low. We start out just half down. What is going on? It's because it's a circle and it's not exactly half. Yeah, so I can't do it like that. I can't. So this would have, oh boy. Is this a mind boggling mess? Wow. That's a true mind boggler. I really. Okay, you know what I do? I'm going to fill it all in first. I'm going to get the whole thing filled in. That's going to be that's going to be what we need to do. Get the whole thing filled in because we have these little gaps here. Once that's all filled in, then I can do a little carve out, I think. That should solve the problem. Okay, I have a mess to fix. I'll come back with you. I'll come back to you with uh, some potential hopeful solutions. So I've been sitting here for a while playing getting this thing figured out and I think we have it figured out I think uh, but as I've been trying to figure it out I uh, I've been playing and I thought I kept hearing my daughter crying upstairs and I was like oh man she's going through it right now like she's really something's wrong like she was really crying a lot and usually you know if she's crying a lot it'll she'll kind of stop after a little bit. Uh, she'll, she never really cries more than, I mean, now that she's kind of big girl, grown up, uh, she, she doesn't cry more than a, a few minutes or so. Um, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Let's see if we can replicate that. Um, one, mm -hmm. like so, yep. Um, but I was like, man, she's been crying for the longest time. And I took my headphones off and I was like, listening, like, what is a poor thing? Is she still crying? And, uh, come to find out, it was my nose whistling. <laughs> my nose was whistling like crazy the whole time. I'm just sitting here. Like the biggest nose whistle. Uh, so it blew my nose and that took care of that. The baby stopped crying, basically. Uh, but uh, anyway, 
I think we got this thing figured out. Not bad, right? It's a great start to this amphitheater. Uh, I think I need to lower this down one. And then I'm going to work out these sides. Two potential options here. I could try to leave like a natural landscape and act like that will be part of the stage in this back part here. Um, this is going to be like a stage area. Probably lower this one. And then these sides could be cathedral, or not cathedral, but uh, pillars and really cool looking things uh, on the sides to kind of frame this scene. That's one option. The other option is that we do boom, 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 a big thing right in the middle. And as I'm saying it, it feels like the big thing right in the middle is going to be our best option. Um, it just feels like it'll be the coolest thing. Something huge right there. Possibly. I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts and my feeling on it. But, um, yeah, for now, that's just, we're going to have to call it quits for the day. Put a lot of work in. I've got family coming into town here to celebrate my special 300 episode. No, no, <laughs> just coming to visit. Uh, but yeah. Hey, hopefully you got some ideas. We kind of double whammyed it today, didn't we? We got some ideas going off of this and uh, some ideas going off of that. So again, thank you guys also for all your help. Uh, Will you helping with kind of building this stuff? It, it's awesome that we can do this stuff together. It's awesome that we've been doing this for 300 episodes together. I feel like, I mean, honestly, I've been doing this, building with BWO, Longer than I've been married. I just blew my own mind. All right. Thank you guys. Hopefully have a great day. Rest of your evening. And we'll see you in the next episode.